Hey guys, what's up? You're watching I again. My name is Bharat. The only time success comes before work is in the dictionary. Today we're going to be unboxing and checking out the Redmi Note 11. So let's get into it. It's available in a few colors. We're checking out the horizon blue color here, and it's also available in a few variants that start at a price of 12,499. Now there are available offers and you should check out the deals at the link in the description below to get the best deal if you're interested in buying this device. Now the unboxing experience is pretty familiar with other phones that we've checked out in the past. So inside the box, you'll get the SIM ejector tool along with some basic documentation and a clear protection case for the back of the phone. You'll get the device itself along with a new 33 watt charger and a really good quality USB A to USB type C cable. Now the phone has the SAR information on the back and we'll keep the screen on the SAR if you guys are interested in that. And the phone itself is built really well and has a really nice fit and finish. You get flat sides of the device so a new style as far as the look is concerned. And on the back, you can see the horizon blue color has a nice amount of gradient and some speckles in there as well, giving it a nice premium finish. You do get glass on the back as well as on the front of the device. And on the front of the phone is a 6.43 inch full HD plus AMOLED display. Now this display has a thousand nits of brightness along with a wide color gamut, which is a DCI-P3 color gamut. And you get a 90 Hertz of refresh rate along with 180 Hertz of touch sampling on this display as well. It is customizable. So in case you want to keep it at 60 Hertz for better battery management, you can do that, but you can customize it to 90 Hertz and have it run at 90 Hertz at all times. The display also has uh, a sunlight mode and a reading mode, which can be beneficial for uh, those particular aspects. So if you're out and about in the sun, the display will automatically turn up the brightness so that you can view whatever is on the screen quite easily. And in the reading mode, it'll dim down the brightness and reduce the blue color tones so that you can read comfortably without giving any kind of fatigue to your eyes. The phone itself is about 8.09 millimeters in terms of thickness, and it weighs in only at 179 grams. And it does have an IP53 rating, which means that basic splashes are prevented from damaging this device. So if you're out in the rain or if your phone gets a spill, it should survive that without any issues, although it is always advised to keep your phone away from water as much as you can. Now this phone has MIUI 13 out of the box and is one of the first few devices to come with Android 11 and MIUI 13 out of the box. So you'll get all the latest features and upgrades and will continue to get upgrades for a few years along with security upgrades as well. As far as integrations are concerned, this phone has also something really interesting. It's called Alexa hands-free. Now setting up the Alexa hands-free integration is actually quite very simple. You simply go to the link in the description below, check out all the devices that do support apart from the Redmi Note 11, uh, the Alexa hands-free integration and also set it up by downloading the Alexa app. With the Alexa app, you can do a whole host of things, including start and stop timers. You can also listen to music from the Amazon Music Library. If you are a Prime member, you'll get all of these features for free. Alexa, how far is Starbucks? I found a Starbucks coffee. It is 0.4 kilometers away. You can also add things to your cart. What's in my shopping cart? Looks like your cart is empty. Come. Showing your cart on Amazon or check out your order status or your cart status as well. And more importantly, you can also control things on your phone itself. So you can launch applications or use it as an assistant to remind you to do stuff. Most importantly, Alexa can also be integrated with smart home devices. So if you do have some smart home devices, turn on the studio lamp. Okay. You can control them with the Alexa app. Most interestingly, we do have some lights that are Alexa controlled. In fact, Xiaomi makes a lot of lights that are Alexa controlled and you can set up the lights, turn up or turn down the brightness. If you do have multicolor mode options, you can change the colors as well. So for example, we can change the studio light to blue by saying Alexa studio lights to blue. Now this Amazon Alexa integration is free for any of the listed devices and uh, is available with the Redmi Note 11 out of the box. Like I said, if you guys are interested in checking it out, the links are in the description below. Just follow that link and set it up on your Xiaomi or Redmi device. If it supports it, if you do get the Redmi Note 11, you can use the link to set it up on the Redmi Note 11 as well. So coming back to the device, certain specifications that you guys will be interested in is the fact that this phone runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 680 chipset. This is a six nanometer process and has an octa-core CPU along with the Adreno 610 GPU. You do get two RAM options, four gigabyte or six gigabyte, and then you also do get uh, two storage options, 64 gigabyte 
or a 128 gigabyte. The 128 gigabyte is only available with the six gigabyte of RAM. You also have the ability to extend the RAM of the device using virtual RAM booster up to eight gigabytes. So if you do get the six gigabyte variant, you can get an up to eight gigabytes of RAM by boosting it using the virtual RAM booster. On the back is the quad camera setup. You do get a 50 megapixel main camera. This is the camera that you're gonna be using the most. And then you also get an eight megapixel ultra wide camera, a two megapixel depth camera that is gonna help with portrait photography. And then you also get a two megapixel camera. It's probably a camera that you're not gonna use. And it's only for people who do macro photography. And two megapixel as a resolution, I feel is too low anyway. So this is one of the cameras that are gonna be used the least, but it's there on the back of the phone irrespective. You also do get an LED flash. It also has a front-facing 13 megapixel camera. Both the main camera and the front camera can shoot full HD video at 30 frames per second. The phone has a 5000 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty massive, and you do get a 33 watt charging capability, and the charger, like I mentioned, is included in the box. The phone also has the Z-axis vibration motor, and the ports and all the ingress points are rubberized, uh, to protect from uh, water. As I mentioned, the phone does have an IP53 rating. Overall, it's a pretty solid device uh, with lots of cool features and one of the most popular categories for uh, Xiaomi or Redmi, uh, especially in this price bracket. The Redmi Note 11 is available, like I mentioned, at the link in the description below. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to smash the like button if you haven't already done that and hit the subscribe button if you're not already a part of Team Aigyan. This has been Bharat. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.